Uh, let's start this night over. We can sit and have a lovely dinner and uh, enjoy getting to know each other. That's the point of this whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, the point of all this is to let you know that Al... Al We're hungry. Let's eat. Mm, yeah. I hear the gnocchi's really good here. What are you doing? I'm just looking at my menu. We're getting married. <laughs> what? What? Yep. We are. Yay. This is such a fun film to watch. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. What, um, what attracted you to the role of Lucia? Well, I really liked the, um, I, I really, I liked the general s story of, of these two families coming together and sort of the twist on the traditional, you know, black and white family and having it be the black and Latino family. Yeah. And for me, you know, growing up, in a very diverse, you know, group of people, um, I always felt like, like most cultures were so much more alike than they were different. You know, I had friends from yeah. everywhere. You know, Filipino, Asian, you know, black, white, whatever. And I always felt like, when I'd walk into their homes, that this feels exactly like my house. So, so I like that. You know, for all the differences, that these families are actually probably they're more alike than they are different. Yeah. And then. For Lucia, I just, I just really um, was moved by her, her journey to carve her own path out. You know, starting with marrying the person that she's in love with, even if it's not, you know, what her, what her dad sees for her, and then kind of going deeper into all the other things, the, the pursuing her passion and right. and for the rest of her life, and the kind of courage that it takes to make that break with, with your dream for your life and your parents' dream for your life. What things did you pull from from your life that transferred into the role of Lucia? Um, I I think that just the the, the general you know the uh, the difficulty of of kind of believing in in your own you know believing in your strength and not needing validation. Right. Because we all do, you know, from the time you're young, you look to adults or parents or the people around yeah. you. Am I doing the right thing? Is this right? Am I, am I doing it? And, you know, you want that. You want to be able to look back and say, yes, you approve of the man I'm marrying, or <laughs> yes, you approve of this job, yeah. or you approve of my life's path. And, and then just sort of her coming into herself as an adult and saying, you know, you're not always going to get that approval, mm -hmm. and, but you can't, like, you can't not be true to... Right. to you know, who you want to be. Okay, enough. Okay, go. Okay. I made you these. Oh, Mom. They're gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Something new. Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. Okay. Now, I want you to come and look at this beautiful woman. And don't you ever forget her. Okay. You sure? We could bounce right now. <laughs> so this movie explores a lot about culture and how it can play a big role in your life and life-changing events like getting mm -hmm. married. So how has your culture played a role in your career? Um, well, I think that because my job is so, you know, it's visual, it's people see me, that you can't, like, you, there's no way of getting away from your culture and who you are and the color of your skin. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's just, it's immediately a part of, of who you are. And so if you're on camera or on a poster, you're representative of, of all those things, you know, mm -hmm. of being Latina, of being, you right. know, a certain type or um so so that has you know played a big part in my career but but it's also been a really uh it's also been really wonderful to be able to take on projects and characters that sort of challenge that you know mm -hmm. to to you know play a new a new version of the story that's mm -hmm. told about your culture or um, have, have you seen roles for Latin Americans 
change or evolve over time? Um, I feel like it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to, to comment on that because I sort of, I feel like I'm so lucky. Like I, I was at the right place at the right time and, and the first job I had was Real Women Have Curves, which, which was a film that challenged all of the stereotypes, you know, the stereotypes mm -hmm. of being a woman, of being a Latina woman, of what beauty is, what, you know, the, the obsession with, you know, physical image. And, um, and that was kind of, that part didn't exist mm -hmm. for, for anyone until, until that movie. And then, and then I was lucky enough to get to, to play that part. And then, you know, from there go to, you know, more, more mainstream characters like, you know, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants where, where, um, you know, her culture was, was a big part of who she was, but yet still being accepted in a more general mainstream way. I, I think it's, it gets better every year, but then I sort of, I, I'm, I'm fortunate and I know that that it's not that way across the board, you know what I mean? Right. But I think it is. I think it's changing and getting better and and you know, there's still work to be done and it's not anything that's just going to miraculously happen one day and all these things are going to fall into your lap. You know, that's the work that that we're doing. That's Latinos in this industry and minorities in this industry in general have come a long way, but but have a lot more road to pave and it's not just something that's going to happen. No one's going to say, you know, Oh, we just want to open all these doors and break all the stereotypes and go ahead and play whatever role you see fit. You know, right. we just no one believes it till they see it. So you yeah. just have to make it real, I guess. Well, thank you very much. It was such a joy watching the film.